the final conference in the Power 5 group of conferences that is left to be previewed is the Big Ten. Could we have saved the best conference for last? Stay tuned and find out. So the Big Ten. Last season, some pretty wild games happened in the Big Ten Conference. So let's start with the east side of the Big Ten Conference. We'll work from 7-1 to one, just like I have been throughout all these conference previews. Your viewingness to these conference previews have been much appreciated. I really hope these are all correct. And if they're wrong, you can clearly make fun of me when they're wrong. Because sometimes it's wonderful to be wrong because underdogs could rise to the occasion. And it could be better when the favorites crash and burn. Now in the east side of the conference, at the bottom at number seven, Rutgers. Rutgers, I don't know. Can Ray Rice come back and play running back for the for Rutgers? Probably not. So moving on, number six, Maryland. Not really expecting much from Maryland or Rutgers this season, to be honest. It would be good if they win at least five and seven, relied on the APR to get into a bowl game. Number five, Indiana. Indiana had some. They fought through some of the tough games they had, nearly beating Ohio State, Iowa, and Michigan, playing all those three teams close. But they're losing Nate Studfield. They're losing Jordan Brown at running back. Number four, Penn State. No more Christian Hackenberg for them. So Penn State's goal this season would probably to go would probably be seven and five. If they did better than that, they'd be. Really wonderful on their part. At number three, shockingly, the Michigan State Spartans. Now they've lost so much. They lost Connor Cook. They lost Shalik Calhoun. They've lost pretty. They've probably lost some of the luck they've had getting past some of the games this season. I mean, they did lose in Nebraska, but Michigan State was not that good of a team. That we saw that against Alabama in the playoff, close games against Central Michigan, Rutgers, Michigan, Ohio State. They just squeaked by in half their games this season. Number two, between Michigan and Ohio State, I have Ohio State finishing second because Ohio State has lost so much this season, but they have a good recruiting class. But I think this is just the year that Jim Harbaugh makes a conference championship game for Michigan. And I like Michigan to win the Big Ten East. Now on the west side, the bottom, number seven, we have Purdue. Number six, Minnesota. I don't see those two doing a lot either this season. Number five, Illinois. They could get a couple wins together with new head coach Lovey Smith. They could. At number four, we have Northwestern. Northwestern. They had a pretty strong season last season, but I just think they had some negative momentum in that Outback Bowl last season. Probably ruined their some of their confidence. But we'll see what happens throughout the season. Number three, hoping to make a better season for their head coach, is the, is the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Now, I do not have them ranked in my top 25, but they have some players coming back like Tommy Armstrong, who Nebraska fans always turn on after a turnover. And Jordan Westerkamp, who makes one magnificent catch, and everybody loves him, and makes another behind the back catch, and they seem to he seems to be their favorite wide receiver of all time. So for Nebraska, if their fans can stay positive throughout these turnovers that Tommy Armstrong was probably bound to have. They could have some positivity of an 8-4 and four season. And number two, the Iowa Hawkeyes. This was kind of a little... It was kind of, uh, for me, kind of, because I have Wisconsin winning the Big Ten West, because Wisconsin could have beaten Iowa last season, but they lost 10-6 to six in a game where they had about five or six turnovers. So now that we have Michigan and Wisconsin in the Big Ten championship game, in the end... 
I will predict... When we get to this point, I'm calling it right now. I'm going to say that this will be the upset of the season because Michigan will be in a spot in the Coastal Playoff, but Wisconsin will take it away from them. I like Wisconsin for Michigan, the Big Ten Championship game. And I'm going to come out and say it right now. This could be the season where we have two teams from the same conference in the college football playoff. I don't see a Big Ten team making the college football playoff. Whether it's going to be two teams from the ACC, SEC, Big 12, Pac-12, that'll be determined for another day. Or even Notre Dame, or even a group of five could surprise everybody. That's another video for another day. So know what you think. Comment below what you think. We know some Nebraska fans are watching, so comment below. So, like, subscribe to the channel. Have a good day, everyone.